you know, first first chance in a while. Maybe get, finally get back there. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I think uh, a couple of days here to get ready, and uh, um, and we'll be ready for uh, game one. We were considering coming here. Is this on the timetable that you thought things would happen, or is this even ahead of you know? I don't know. I don't have a little palm reader thing, so um, this is what it is. I think uh, we're happy to to be here and doing so well. So um, I knew I knew the talent and um, the direction the team wanted to go in, and um, I mean I don't really know what the timeline, whatever. But uh, we're happy we had such a good season and. Um, and we're in this position now. Dougie, is it at all possible to prepare someone who's never been in the postseason for what they're about to experience? Uh, I don't know. I think everyone's played big games before, so um, whether it's junior playoffs or uh, world juniors and different stuff like that, so um, I think everyone will be fine. It's uh, end of the day. It's, uh, it's hockey. It's what we do and what we love. And um, everyone going to go out there and do their best. You mentioned you had a good summer. What was it about? Was it the workouts? Was it, you know, You're a player who has been in the league a long time, have experience, regular and um, postseason. Is it at all possible to prepare someone? For for the postseason, because you have a lot of guys here who will experience it for the first time. That's really, I mean, you know, I feel like everybody will enjoy the moment. You know, uh, it's very intense. It's a lot of fun. You know, you've been working, you know, 82 games to get to this spot, and uh, you know, the first round is coming. So, you know, we will do our best to be prepared. I'm sure guys will enjoy it. The atmosphere is going to be outstanding. So, I'm really looking forward to it. So, is it really one of those things where once the puck drops, you feel what it is? that's when you really know what the playoffs consist of? I would say so, yeah. That's probably the best description. I mean, um, exactly. The intensity, uh, you know, the level of, you know, you're playing against the best competition, you know, in the league, and you just it's just a lot of fun. Excited about the fact that it's that added rivalry of New York, New Jersey, and all that. That has to give it an extra flair, no? Yes, uh, you know those games during the during the regular season were tight. You know, were good games. You know, we enjoyed it as the players. You know, it's going to be a big competition, and um, like you said, you know, it's going to be you know a little flary, a little rivalry. But that's good. You know, I think as the players, we enjoy this kind of moments. So, Mers, uh, you got Stanley Cup playoffs. What does that feel like for you? Second year in the league, and, and here you are right now. <laughs> yeah, especially you, you work towards this all year to be playing in the postseason, and um, you know just coming in last year, getting comfortable, uh, you know, just being you know really happy to be here and working towards um, everything moving forward. But uh, it's a great feeling coming in, just a quick turnaround, uh, second year in the league, and you know this is the fun time where you want to be playing in. Uh, I'm really happy to, to have that opportunity early on in my career. We talk so much about the difference between regular and postseason. Do you feel you have a good understanding of what that is and maybe draw on past Team Canada experiences, those types of big games in your in your past? Um, you know, obviously we have a good group in here. You can listen to the older guys. They have a lot of uh, you know experience with that. But, um, yeah, you can definitely look back from growing up, you know, in junior. They have the playoffs. This mm -hmm. And I think just... Uh, no matter what level you are, um, it's the same competitiveness coming out in you every every night when you go out there. But for sure, just you know, momentum is a big thing. You want to make sure you you don't you don't want to give them any chances to, that you'll regret. So I think that's a big thing, and I'll, I'll just make sure I go out there and play my game like I do every year. Do you do you feel that you're going to have that like excited to see what that next level is for you on this type of stage? Yeah, this you know this is really where you want to you know. Every night you want to bring out the best of you, but for sure, um, I think just the excitement, the energy that's going to be, um, you know, just playoff hockey. It's the best time of year, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just pumped to, you know, be experiencing that right now. Has it kind of set in that you're going to be playing in playoff hockey? You grow up watching, you grow up watching Stanley Cups, and now here's your opportunity. Yeah, it's pretty real, obviously. Um, you want to enjoy, enjoy the experience, but, um, you know, we've been preparing for this for all season, and... Uh, we had a good feeling there later on that this is, you know, where our season is headed, coming in the playing these extra games now. So um, we're, we're excited, but it do feel very real right now. And then, um, this is the time of year that one of the reasons you were really brought into this team to help with this 
Can you actually tell someone what to expect, how to expect, or is this really for a first-time player, you have to experience it to understand I think it? a little bit of both. Okay. Um, you can kind of prepare some of the individuals for it um, and give them an idea of what it's going to be like. But at the end of the day, once you get into it, you you get your first taste. You know right away, though. So, like, right. if you can help them understand that it's nothing like they've ever experienced, the level jumps up that much more. Like, like what I've been mm -hmm. preaching, um, you can kind of give them the uh, the preparation so mm -hmm. that they're they're not uh, caught off guard. I think that's the biggest thing. But then you're right. It's it's all about uh, like trial and error and testing and seeing what it's like and then upping your level and seeing if you can do that and that's why the playoffs is the best time of the year um, and it's my favorite time of the year it's uh, I remember every playoff game it's it, it, there's, there's so much fun and it's um, and it's a battle and what happens is you a lot of times it gets up to a matchup either coach or matching up your players so whoever home or away you get matched up and then you got to win your matchup and that's how you go into that you try to win your matchup um, on that night and uh, if you do that you you come out with the win and it just seems like it's always like that so you just gotta make sure you win your battles and then normally it seems like the top six play against the top six and the bottom six play um, play against each other and um, you gotta shut them down or 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 be on the better side and that's kind of how it's been like for a while so uh, it's exciting it's fun and uh, I try to try to get uh, some of the input and give them what I, I've learned uh, mm -hmm. but like I said you have to kind of test it yourself what tells you that this team is ready to take that jump to play at that next level and be competitive at that next level? Yeah, I think we're close. Uh, I think there's still some time here that we, uh, we're going to get um, more video. Um, <laughs> it's great to understand their tendencies. You want to be prepared for everything that they're going to throw at, at us. Um, talk about players. Uh, obviously, they have a really good top six. They picked up some big time players at the uh, at the deadline so um, these are things that we were have to discuss in their their tendencies and so that we're aware of and um, go out and, and, and execute so it's uh, we're close but there's still a lot we have a couple days here to get get ourselves ready I don't know I mean watching the pens and you know uh, the Hawks they, they were going deep in playoffs for for a lot of years so um, those are two teams where I always enjoyed watching them play but um, yeah, probably Hawks and Pens going deep. As good a season as you've had, do you, do you see this as a time of year that the great players are judged by, by what they do in, in the playoffs? And uh, yes and no. I mean, um, obviously had a really good year, but uh, like now it's just a different season. You know, it's time for playoffs and it's going to be more difficult and, you know, the stakes are going to be higher. So. Um, guys like me, you know, you, you, you want to be playing in those moments, but with that being said, it's going to be difficult, and, you know, we're not going to bring our A game. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really exciting, but, you know, happy with how the team did this year and, you know, for us to get to this spot, and then obviously, um, you know, we're in a good spot heading into playoffs, so uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. Is there, I mean, do, you, do you look forward to the opportunity to test yourself on this level to see what the games are like? Everyone says it's different this time of year. I mean, do, you, do you buy into that? Uh, not really test myself. I mean, I've, I don't know. I've been in the league four years now. I don't really need to test myself anymore. But um, like I said, the playoffs are exciting, and it's more of a, it's a team thing now, you know. So uh, you want to do whatever you can to push the team forward, and, you know, your game might shift a bit. But, you know, um, with that being said, I don't have all, all the answers either. You know, I have zero playoff games in my name too. So um, I'll learn and hopefully I'm going a deep run this year. And you know, hopefully I'll get a lot of playoff ga games in in my career. Jack, is there any one regular season accomplishment you had this year that stands out above well, or others, or, or that you're most proud of, maybe? Like personally? Yeah. Probably the goals. You know, 43 goals. That's pretty good. Um, I was never even like a goal, like I, even at the program, I never scored 43 goals, and I was lighting the lamp there. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think that was impressive, just like you know, getting hot in that stretch in uh, January, February, or whatever it was, and just the goal scoring. So, that's just like coming into the league. I don't think, I think everyone knew about my playmaking, but uh, I don't even know if people expected me to score 40. Uh, and maybe not this fast, so uh, that was 
definitely something that probably uh, was the most surprising, yeah. You need everyone on board, uh, you need depth, and, uh, and ultimately that's, that's what makes it feel so good because, you know, everyone does their part. You brought a lot of physicality to this lineup, and we know that the team's working on, you know, bringing that into the game a little bit more if possible. You don't want to get away from the speed too much, but how have you seen that in the past couple of games, even with watching? Yeah, like you said, I mean, the, the speed dynamic of this team, it's probably the first and foremost what we want to do. We want to play with the puck and we want to move. So the emphasis on hitting is not there, but to see them playoffs, I mean, just getting a piece, you know, finishing plays and kind of rubbing them out, you know, it not only slows on the team, takes a little bit of a, you know, a piece out of them, but it allows you to, to re-get, or regain that body position, I guess. So it's, uh, again, you, you said juices will be running early, guys will be running around, uh, but that's all a part of it. And you settle in, and, and we talked about that today. I mean, we need to play our brand of hockey. You know, we can't get sucked into doing what the other team wants to do. And for the most part this season, the team's done a good job of it, so there's no reason to change anything. And how do you, I know that it's great when you play another team because you can make adjustments on the fly, right? You make an adjustment before the next game, but they're doing the same thing on the other end. So how do you balance against that and stay mentally sharp? Yeah, like, like you said, I mean, you're, you're not changing too much. You're not trying to reinvent the wheel because a lot of the time, you know, you change something, they're changing to adapt to that. And I mean, everyone in this league is so smart as well. Uh, the coach doesn't need much. You know, he, he says something on the bench and, you know, it clicks right away and you go out there and execute it. So, uh, you know, it comes down to execution um, and it's to be patient. You don't have to try and hit that homer in each and every shift. Uh, but knowing the, you know, the game breakers that we do have on this team, it's going to be exciting because when we smell blood in the water, we're going to go after it. So that's, I mean, that's what playoffs are all about. It's a chess match out there. You play seven games for a reason. So, uh, you become very good friends on the ice. Um, <laughs> and by the end of it, uh, you know, you, you play hard, you leave it all up there and you shake hands. Curtis, is it possible to prepare someone for their first playoff experience? Like you can talk, tell them, but is, is can you do that? Is that... <laughs> Not really. I, I mean, you can try and draw some, I guess, experience from, you know, growing up playing junior and kind of the playoffs and whatnot. But no, I, I think that's probably the honest answer. You, you can't. You just got to go in there. But it's, it's, you know, the mental grind is probably just as big as, you know, the physical that it takes. Uh, you got to be, you know, sharp in your reads, how you play the game. And like I said, you know, everyone's so enthusiastic and energetic that you want to run around and do so much when, you know, sometimes less is more. You know, play within your structure and let the game come to you. Uh, I, I think you'll see, I mean, you know, the first five minutes of the games, the last five minutes, depending on the score, that's when things get, you know, quite testy. And, but all of a sudden, you know, you settle in and you said this, this team's grown so much this season. Uh, there's no reason that they you know, can't pick things up pretty quick here. So, again, it's every series is a different beast, too. So you don't know what's, uh, what they're going to throw at us or how they're going to react to how we play. For you to be able to get in that last game, how did you feel? I mean, you know, we've talked so much about you being here and then disappearing and then coming back. How important was that to you, given what, you know, is coming up now? Yeah, it's it was very important. Um, I, again, still ahead of my timeline, but I, I aimed at getting that last game, and I, yeah. I pushed for the one before. They didn't quite <laughs> let me, uh, but no, that that was big for myself. Uh, again, that's I was talking to some of the coaches. That was my that's about my fourth game in about six weeks, I'd say. So, so a lot of rust, but you know, just get the body movement, understand your reads and and whatnot, and an opportunity for me to grow. Because, like I said, the. A margin for error here goes down pretty quick, so you got to be sharp. But uh, you know, I was happy with how my body responded, and hopefully, we can just keep it going. Perfect, thanks, Curtis. When you're preparing some of your players to play in their first playoff series, first playoff game, is there any way you can actually prepare them for what that moment will be like when the puck drops? No, I don't think so. I think uh, you have to experience it, and uh, we'll get that uh, on Tuesday. What is it that a player experiences in that first moment? I, you know, I think it's the energy. It uh, will be some of the desperation. Uh, the intensity of, of the game is ramped up. Uh, so it's just really a different ball game. Lindy, what's the, the, the plan for the backup goalie? Seems like Schmid really did, did well the other day. plan is right now we have three goalies. How's uh, Mikey look out there, McLeod? Uh, Michael got through the day good. Um, I would anticipate him being available. And what about Timo? Uh, Timo had food poisoning, so he missed today. But feeling better. He's feeling better. Yeah. So there's no real issue there? No real issue, no. Okay. Do you go into a bunker mode now where players go to hotels, and or is it just things stay as normal? Uh, no, we, you know, we keep things, they're going to keep things normal. Uh, but... You know, a heightened awareness on you know, the amount of sleep you need to get, uh, and and the attention you have to pay with 
eating right and making sure that uh, all those details are covered off. Lindy, of all the numbers that, that Jack has put up this year, the, the records he has set, is there any one in particular that impressed you that maybe you weren't you know, considering at the start of the year? Uh, he, he set the goals, the amount of goals that he scored this year. He was very proud of what, what about What about you? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, you know, if I wanted to point at something, I would say the goals, really. Uh, I thought if you know, if Jack would have scored 30, I thought it would have been a good year. So he, he, uh, you know, exceeded that margin by, by, by quite a good pace. So if I looked at one thing, it'd probably be that. And why do you think he was able to do that? Uh, you know, I think the number of qu uh, quality opportunities. I think uh, the fact his shot has gotten better, uh, quicker release. Uh, there's a lot of different factors on probably why he, he scored more. How gracious are you feeling this morning? Not very gracious. Oh, no? So You got a gracious I'm question? I'm going to ask the question anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, so, obviously, Luke uh, played really well those last two regular season games. Is there a chance we may see him in the postseason, or are you going to keep it steady with what you've gone with these 82 games? I, I think there's when a, when a player is on the roster, there's always a possibility he will play. And yes, he played well. Um, uh, I look at the Washington game as a different game to try to evaluate. Um, it's, it's a hard game to evaluate what went on with a game that meant nothing to Washington. I know the mental aspect of the game is very important. And uh, I'm answering many questions over the season. Is there anything you can do prior to the game on Tuesday to help the team from a mental standpoint? You know, what we've done is we've talked about what it's going to be like, um, about just enjoying that moment by wrapping your arms around it. That's what we want to play for. Um, so just really enjoying it. But we've done a great job of staying in the moment, of not getting too high, not getting too low. So, again, it's just it, it's focusing on, on our game and, and what we do well. Um, you know, we're not going to run around and change a bunch of stuff. We have to. We have to be able to play our game. Did you feel that it was a different level of practice today? I thought the energy level of practice was great. Um, attention to detail was really good. I think, you know, the. I think you can see the, the heightened atmosphere with knowing that you're in the playoffs. How do you balance having fun like this group has all season, but staying serious now that it is the playoffs? Uh, you know, again, it's something we've done all year where we had some great runs where we had our fun, we had our laughs, we are, and again, we're going to have to do the same. you gotta, you got to enjoy the plays and practice. You've got to be able to, you know, enjoy the, the wins. But uh, in the playoffs especially, you've got to be able to put the loss away and move on to the next game. As you said, no change. I mean, you had the third best record in the league. Why change what brought you here? But do you tweak the, How do you use the practice time? Tweak what you've done well or try to hone what you not like lately? I think, coaches, you're always looking at what you can do better. So, you know, part of our video today was, you know, here's an area that we can improve, that uh, we got to be better. And uh, you're going to look at after game one, you're going to look at stuff and say, we're going to have to be better here. Uh, so game in, game out will be will be tweaking all the time. It's like the regular season year. You go from one game to the next. I just reference it to you're fighting fires. You're just trying to put a fire out, uh, whatever that fire is. One of the guys who's always seemed to step up in the playoffs is Andre. I mean, is there any explanation for that? He always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, it's been a time of year where he's excelled, and uh, it's a great question for him. Why, why has that happened? But I think he puts himself in position to succeed in the playoffs. He... Uh, I think has been a guy that uh, they've noticed inside of games that he's just a guy that gets to the right place. And I think when you get to the right place enough times uh, and you do the right things enough times, you can take advantage of it, and he has. As a coach, what do you enjoy most about playoff hockey? Probably every, probably every shift, every period. Um, the intensity, the, the ramp up that you see in players. Uh, you know, players that you don't think will 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 do something, will do something. I think a lot of times it's 
it's the unexpected. It's the player that all of a sudden jumps out and uh, ends up being uh, the guy that has made a difference. It's like a plot in the playoffs for, for Tampa. He's been the guy that, you know, surprises and, and makes the difference inside a game. So that's probably the thing uh, I would look at most. Do you have a good luck item that you wear or something during a the game? A good luck item? Yes. <laughs> I got lots of good luck items. <laughs> <laughs> I throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, Vitek's play this year makes you think he'll rise to the occasion in the playoffs? Basically just because of what you just said, because of his play. I think there was times in the season where he was tested. He was t- tested physically, mentally. Uh, you know, There was tough spots where tough grinds, and, and he always answered the call. So that's the reason I believe in him. The other two goaltenders too. Where, where do you see their play right now? Um, as you know, the last couple weeks of the season. Well, I, I haven't seen a lot of Vitek. He hasn't been here. Uh, uh, Blackie coming off his injury, obviously uh, uh, the Boston game. I thought he finished really well in that game. Uh, one goal he couldn't do a lot, really do a lot about. Uh, the one that ricocheted off of uh, Zaka. So, you know, probably disappointed. Disappointed with. Uh, uh, the Washington game, but you got to put that away. Goaltending is obviously such a key to the postseason and getting, getting the hot goaltender. Is, is experience part of that? Does it matter if, 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 if a guy's been in that situation before? I think, I think it helps. Uh, but uh, the only way you get there is to, to play the games and uh, and feel comfortable, believe, believe in what you're doing, uh, have that confidence. And, you know, confidence is believing in what you're doing. You've been behind their bench. You've been behind your bench. I mean, what's it going to be like in this postseason between these two teams? <laughs> you know, I just think it's going to be one heck of a series. I think that, you know, you've got you've got some seasoned guys there that have, from Tarasenko to Kane to, you know, you can look at uh, Mika, Cry, the number of games they've had, um, the experience they've got. Um, the season, the last couple of seasons that Fox has put together, the you know you look at uh, their goaltender. Uh, so you know all that is is good. Make up for one heck of a series.